What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Cut through the side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys. Okay, so I received a channeling in. I was about to go to bed, but um, I received it in, so I'll deliver it real quick. I hope oh, blah, 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 blah. I hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. Just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, hey, big butt. I like big butts, I cannot lie. No other brother can deny. Come on, buddy. Right here. So the channel message I received was um, a very, very, very um, angry, aggressive, person is going to try to come to uh, come to your home soon and pressure you to um, sell your home is what I heard uh, I heard it would not be smart to answer the door and um, it'd be smart to call the police for some it is a family member for some it is a person of your past so uh, you plug it in how it resonates I heard they're embarrassed I heard they're embarrassed is what I heard uh, but they did it to themselves but they did it to themselves. That's what I just heard. So they're embarrassed, but they did it to themselves. So why the hell? Okay, my question is, why the hell? Okay, they are come. They're very angry and aggressive. And for some, it's a family member. For some, it's a person in your past. Why are they embarrassed about your house? What the hell do they have to do with your house? <clears throat> and that's just the damn truth. What the hell do they have to do with your house? Unless they're co-signed on the paperwork. They are not cosigned on the paperwork. Very negative, heavy karma is about to come to them. It'd be smart to stay away and call the police. Okay, I heard they're not cosigned on the paperwork. So for the home or the deed or the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they're embarrassed, but it's your home. But they're not cosigned on the home, um, whoever these people are. Um, whether it's a family member or a person of your past, but they are embarrassed, but yet they want to come angry and aggressive for you. What? That doesn't make no damn sense unless they've done something to you. But I heard uh, it would not be smart to interact with them. It'd be smart to call the police because very heavy negative karma is about to come for them. So I think they might be in trouble with the law or they're about to be in trouble with the law. Um, if I was to pull a tea leaf on them, oh my God, this is the first one I freaking picked up. Of course, it was from the last read, but this is how I would envision them. Um, a very stubborn, um, aggressive person. Um, whether it's a masculine family member or a masculine person of your past or a femme family member or a femme person of your past. There's some reason they're very embarrassed about your home. And why they're going to try to pressure you angrily and aggressively to sell your home. There's a reason. Why are they embarrassed about your home? I heard they're not co-signed on any documentation. On any deed or paperwork of yours. Whoever you are. So why are they embarrassed? Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call, huge. A stubborn, aggressive person is how I would uh, describe this person. I heard they're going to come in, um, it sounds like, on your property. Uh, angrily, aggressively, i.e. the stubborn, aggressive person energy is what I'm feeling. And they're going to try to pressure you to sell your home. They're embarrassed. Well, why are they embarrassed about your home and your life? That's my deal. Um, if you stay in your lane, you wouldn't be embarrassed about somebody's home or life. And that's just the truth. So I'm just saying, let me see if I hear anything else. I'm going to close it. I wasn't even going to do this one. But if you stay in your lane and you mind your own damn business, 
why the hell are you embarrassed about somebody else's home? You're not even on the paperwork for the home. I mean, I'm not talking about you guys. I'm just talking about this person. That's crazy. There's huge guilt here, huge societal pressure. They need to make this right, but not that way. And they know this. There's huge guilt here and huge societal pressure. They need to make it right, but not this way. And they know this. So there's huge guilt and huge societal pressure from this stubborn, aggressive person that wants to come on your property and pressure you to sell your home, basically. Um, there's huge guilt and societal pressure. So they have huge guilt inside of them, probably regret and remorse as well, guilt and probably a plethora of different emotions, negative emotions. They did something negative and horrible to you is exactly what they've done. And that's just the truth. Uh, they just don't want, they have negative coping me mechanism skills is what it is. They want to take it out on you. But I don't feel you did it. It's your home. I heard they're not even co-signed on the paperwork. So they've done something negative to you. They have most certainly done something negative to you. They've most certainly done something negative to you. So they have most certainly done something negative to you. I heard they need to make it right, but not this way. So however they need to make it right, only they know how they can need to make it right. I, hell, I don't know. I'm not them. I'm not. They sound criminal. They are most certainly criminal. Their asses are about to get caught soon. They are most certainly criminal and their asses are about to get caught soon. So they're most certainly criminal and their asses are about to get caught soon. So if I was you, I just, of course you could take the advice or leave it. But if I was you, I would not answer the door and I would call the police like the spiritual message. If this message applies for you. Only you only take the messages that resonate with the rest, okay? But if this ends up happening to you, it hasn't happened yet. If it ends up happening to you, I would... Not answer the door and call the police. They want to, whoever you are, you're a homeowner. I'm going to pull one of these. You're a homeowner. You own a home. They're going to, it's either a person of your past or a family member. You can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. House. Heard they're going to try to pressure you to sell your home. You can't make this up even if you wanted to. Number 20 could be very significant. Number one's like number 20. I heard, uh, um, I heard it'd be smart to call the police. I would call the police if I was you. I'd call the police and I would not answer the door. Because you answer the door, it's like they're a car salesman trying to come after you. Except I heard they've done something very negative and criminal to you. I heard they're, um, I hope they get caught. I hope they get caught. But they're not even co-signing on your paperwork. So they're, I'm assuming they're not even paying your mortgage or helping you pay your mortgage. Never have, never have, never have, never have. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call. Huge. Many shocking series of chain of events are going to occur soon and quickly. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Uh, many shocking series of chain of events are about to occur soon and quickly. So you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, I don't know what this, I mean, it's either a family member or a person of your past. Spirit messages you have to play with. I mean, out of all the cards I pulled house with the stubborn, aggressive person, I mean, there's a re, I heard they're embarrassed. They're embarrassed, but they've done something to you. Well, I mean, what? Why didn't they just do the right thing to begin with? But they, they could have and they chose not to. Now they have to lie in the bed they made. They could have and they chose not to. Now they have to lie in the bed they made. So they could have done the right thing to begin with, but they chose not to. Now they're going to have to lie in the bed they made. So whatever bed they made and how that resonates. I don't know, man. You plug it in how it resonates. We have gift and message upright. Number 17 or 7 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 7 or 17. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number as well as 20. Gift and message upright.
One of these people wants to sell a home, but they cannot because of you, because it is your home. But they never told you it was your home. One of these people is going to try to sell it soon, but through many series of chain events, they're about to get caught. Okay, so one of these people is wants to sell a home. I heard it's your home, but they never told you it was your home. So I guess they frauded your signature on the home, is what I'm presuming. But it, I heard it's your home. It's your home, but they never told you it was your home. So I'm assuming they frauded your signature on there. I heard they're going to try to sell it soon, but through many series of chain events, they're going to get caught. So uh, selling that, they're going to attempt to sell the home soon. Um, but I heard through many series of chain events, they're going to get caught. Um, prison. Oh my God, I heard prison, prison, dear God. Okay, Lord, we need to hurry up, man. I wasn't even supposed to be on here. Prison. So I guess when they try to uh, try to attempt to sell this home that you don't even know is yours because they never told you it was yours. I'm assuming they frauded your signature on it or something or something of that nature. They're going to try to sell it. They want to sell it behind your back now because they never even told you about the house. But, and I, obviously for the money, this is a different situation, not them coming to your home and pressuring you to try to sell your house. This is a different situation, situation two. But I heard they will get caught through many series of chain of events, prison. So I'm assuming the realtor's going to catch them or the mortgage company's going to catch them or the loan title company's going to catch them or somebody's going to catch them in the paperwork mix is what I'm presuming. Um however that resonates and um there are many series of chain events they will get caught and then prison yikes gift and message and someone is using kids as pawns and through many many shocking series of chain events the kids will be back with the parent they're supposed to be back with and someone is using kids as pawns, I heard, but through many shocking series of chain events, the kids will be back with the uh, parent they're supposed to be with. So you plug it in how it resonates. Many people are about to go down for this. Many people are about to go down for this. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So someone's using kids as pawns. So you should never use kids as pawns, but somebody is. So they're basically using kids as pawns to try to get what they want, basically. Um, it's about to backfire in a huge way. It's about to backfire in a huge way. So they're trying to use kids to get what they want, basically. But it's about to backfire in a huge way. Now, whatever it is they're trying to get, whatever it is they're trying to get, that use kids as pawns is about to backfire. I don't know what it is. I didn't hear that. But they're trying to use kids as pawns as some sh in some shape, form, or fashion. That's about to backfire. Um, and I heard the kids are about to be returned through many shocking series of chain events to the parent they're supposed to be with. So I'm assuming that's um, through the, you know, through the shocking series of chain events. I don't know if that's an upcoming court um, child custody um, battle court date or a court date or a pen day light court date or a court date in general or child or CPS getting involved or police getting involved. That the shocking series of time events could be a plethora of different things. It could be police involvement, taking custody of the temporary custody of the kids to get them back. In my opinion, it could be um, ch child protective services getting involved and then releasing, you know, getting them and then releasing them to the child parent they're supposed to be with. It could be a, a court date coming up. It, it, it could be a pen day light court date which is a, a speedy one for kids. Um, well, not a speedy one for kids, a speedy one, a speedy court date. Or what have you, what have you. Um, how that resonates, however that resonates. Uh, I mean, I've had pen day light um, court hearings before, but it was for kids. I, I don't know if that's strictly for kids or for, for many things. I'm not sure I don't work in the legal sector, but how that resonates through many shocking series of chain events. The kids are being used as pawns. They're being used as pawns, but I heard they will be returned to the rightful parent soon. And many people are about to go down for this. So however that resonates. We got gift and message.
Someone's finally about to get communication soon. From a very important, helpful person. They should have received it years ago. Someone's about to receive communication soon from a very helpful person. I heard they should have received it years ago. So the gift of communication from this very helpful person, I heard they should have received it years ago. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates and applies uh, for whoever um, this is for. Um, it could be you that's about to receive this gift of um of communication from a very helpful person you should have received years ago, or you could be the very helpful person that's about to communicate to the person um, that maybe you should have years ago, or maybe you didn't know. I mean, you could have just found out um, how that resonates. I'm not sure, only you know you're sorting out anybody else, but for the one that's going to receive the communication um, soon, that which is the gift energy here, the helpful communication, uh, communication with the helpful person that you should have received it from years ago just know it should have been years ago but i feel you're highly intuitive you should have known it i, I think you know it should have been years ago and i'm just being for real uh, so the gift of helpful communication um from a very helpful person you should have received it years ago how that resonates and applies um but watch out for this person um, whether it's a family member or a person of your past to be very aggressive coming at you all haughty and ego and their ego and craziness coming at you probably on your property wanting you to sell your home because they're embarrassed they are embarrassed because of something they did to you because of societal pressure and um people on their ass basically um i heard it'd be smart to call the cops so you plug it in how it resonates i'm getting out of this i hope this helps and love you i'm gonna say